Hi, this is Tyson Lima and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going through the rules of squash because a few people have requested that video. Alright, so now I'm back with my whiteboard and I've drawn out the floor of a squash cut. And first we're going to be covering serving because that's probably the thing where the most rules come into play. So best to get the most complicated things out first. So, the first rule of serving is the person who is serving, which in this case will be this green magnet, um, has to have at least one foot, the magnet doesn't have feet obviously, so we're just going to put the magnet inside the box, so the server has to have at least one foot, one full foot inside the box, if it's half foot it's not enough, it has to be the full foot in the box, and the receiver, which will be demonstrating with this black magnet can be anywhere inside this back quarter where it's receiving to. And the person who, who is actually serving has to get the ball, has to hit a certain height on the wall, but I'll show you that in a, in a minute, um, because I've not got the wall I, on the front wall actually shown. So it has to go off halfway. It has to be at least halfway up the ma the front wall, and it has to go and it has to land in this quarter here. The one I've just drawn in with a bit of red. It has to land in there. That quarter where the quarter where the black magnet is. If you didn't see the line, you should have just rubbed off. And the ball, which will be the red magnet, basically has to go from there hit the wall and come back into that quarter if you didn't understand but from what I already said. So now the wall part of the serve I think. So take the magnets off and I'll be right back once I've drawn the wall. Hi I'm back with a pretty rough drawing but it'll serve its purpose of the front wall of a squash cart to show you the rest of serving and a bit more after that. So once the server, which was the green magnet in the last video, has taken the serve, the ball has to travel over this middle line and under this top red line in order to be in and also go to the back course which I showed you earlier. So I think that that is everything about serves. Oh, also it can hit the side walls, but if it goes over the top line on the side walls, then it's still out. And I think that's everything on the subject of serving. So, on to shots. Mm, bad, bad Transi transition thing. Anyway, so, now on to just regular shots. We'll still be using the front wall, because the floor doesn't really serve much of a purpose once you've done your serves. Um. So, a regular shot has to go over this bottom line and under the top line. The middle line doesn't do anything on regular shots. But the top line and the bottom line, you've got to hit it between them. If um, your shot goes, bounces off the front wall fine, but then hits onto the side walls over the top line, then that's still out because it's just out. And um, once it's bounced, once the ball is bounced twice, then the then basically once it's bounced twice, the person who played the last shot has won the point. And if it goes out, the person who played the last shot has won the point. That's how you win points. I've got to mention that. Sorry about that bit of a cut. Um, if you noticed it, just um, I messed up. So if your if your opponent gets in the way, then it's what's called a let. If it's by accident, then you just play the point again. And if it was on purpose, then the person who gets in the way gives their opponent a point. If that makes sense. If you if your opponent gets in the way of you, you get an extra point. Yeah, that's right. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it taught you about squash, uh, unless you already knew about squash, 
and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe and comment and yeah, it helps the channel out a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye.